guys, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this demonstration video I'm going to show you how to utilize the macro functionality inside SolidWorks Electrical. SolidWorks Electrical allows us to reuse data, to reuse circuits and um, automatically place them with just a double mouse click into other projects or other schematics which will save an immense amount of time if you don't have to open up all the projects, copying and pasting the data, etc. Now, first of all, I will show you how to create a quick macro. On my screen over here, I've got a typical motor protection circuit or a motor starter circuit on my screen over here. You can see I've automatically already added circuit breakers. Um, there is a um, um, relay here that starts um, the motor as well. I've got a terminal strip assigned to it and uh, we've got a cable W3 assigned to the motor as well. So all the data is complete. Now what I simply can do is I can left select or drag select a window across it and just simply drag and drop this circuit inside my macro screen on the left hand side. Now as soon as I let go of my left mouse button a macro screen pops up I can give it a classification if I want to um, specify a description some user data as well if that is important and as soon as I click on OK my macro will be created over here in my macro screen couple of things that I can do. On the left hand side you can see that I've got typically um, standard out of the box SolidWorks Electrical comes with motor starter, motor command, power supply, command and user tabs. If you right click on any of those tabs you can actually delete the group. You also have the option to create your own new group. And you can add your macros in there so you can sort and create different groups yourself. To delete them you can simply delete them like so and as you could as you've seen before if I right click I can actually go to the group properties and change the height and the width of the thumb, thumbnail size. That will automatically update the thumbnail size as well. Now we get the question a lot that once we've created the macro, how can we actually edit the macro? What we can do is we can go to the library tab up in our screen over here. Left click on macro manager. And if I go to my correct class, we will see my new motor start. I can right click on that and click open. And as you can see here, I'm editing the macro down here, as you can see. I can now remove wire numbers, uh, maybe change colors, etc. And then save this macro, so the next time I will reuse it, it will not have the wire numbers anymore. And it will take the wire numbering from the actual project that you've set up. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching, guys.